Hey guys, Icon Whisper here, and today we're going to be unboxing a NES Classic. Um, so my fiance, previously girlfriend, if you've been following the Icon Whisper lore, uh, I did get engaged a few months back. Um, and that's part of the reason why I've been uh, a little MIA. It's been kind of hectic getting that wedding planning in place. But, that's not why we're here. Today we're about the Nest Classic. Uh, so, she knew I'd been wanting one of these for a while, one of these classic editions that uh, Nintendo's been pumping out. But um, I've never actually owned uh, Nintendo, kind of Super Nintendo on. Um, so it should be pretty cool. Uh, and either way, I think it's going to be tiny and adorable, right? Considering the size of this box. But it has a lot of uh, classic games listed on here. Uh, so let's give that a read, what it has on here. So it has Balloon Fight, um, which I don't think... Oh, it is pictured here. Never heard of that. But Balloon Fight is right there, if you can make that out. I don't know, it's kind of tiny. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, two, Bubble Bobble. Also, never heard of that. Let's see if we can get any indication on here. We are going to be bubble bobble Alright. Three, Castlevania. That's a, a classic. You know, Metroidvania type games. Um, definitely going to give that a try. Then they have Castlevania 2. Simon's Quest. And then, of course, you got that Donkey Kong. I know that's pictured on here somewhere. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's a classic. They couldn't leave that off right there, that Danky Kang, as I like to call him. Um, then Donkey Kong Jr. My only experience with Donkey Kong Jr., I think, is in Mario Tennis. Um, oh, but there he is. Yeah, they have him pictured. Look at him. What is he wearing? He has like a little onesie on or something. Isn't he crazy? Alright. Then we got... Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. That is, what, a fighting game, I think? If I'm not mistaken. And you got Dr. Mario. That's kind of like a, like a Tetris, right? I think I played that on the Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, like way back in the day. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think, like, pills or something would come down, like Tetris style. Not 100% on that. You got Excite Bike. Now, that is a classic as well. Is that pictured here? I don't think so. Oh, no, it is. I lied. It doesn't show any of the gameplay, but, I mean, look how high quality that bike is. Am I right? Final Fantasy, of course. That is awesome. Got the first one here. And I believe I must have played that before on a uh, picture right up here. Uh, your classic turn-based combat there, but... I think they've done so many remakes on different consoles. I must have played that at some point. I think maybe even the Game Boy Advance. Who knows? What do we got? We did Final Fantasy. We got Galaga. That's an arcade classic. Um, let's see. Ghosts and Goblins. Do, do, do. Is that on here? I do not think so. But, okay. We got Ghosts and Goblins. Got it. Gradius? Gradius? I don't know what that is. And it's not pictured, so that'll be a surprise to all of us. Ice Climber. Never played Ice Climber. It looks like it might be some kind of like platformer thing. I just remember in, uh, what is it, Super Smash Bros. Melee, I think? Is that what they introduced them? Um, the Ice Climbers. Kid Icarus. I think he might be in Smash now, too. Who isn't in Smash, right? I'll tell you, Waluigi is not in Smash, right? Yeah. But, um, Kid Icarus. Probably a platformer as well. Kirby's Adventure. Yeah, I'm excited to play. Oh, Dr. Mario was on here. I forgot to show that. There he is with his... He's a pill pusher, let me tell you. He has so many pills back there. He's bought off by Big Pharma. Who knows? I'm just trying to make references. Um, Kirby's... What was that on Kirby's Adventure? I think so. So what did I play that on? 
remember playing way back in the day at a friend's house, either on NES or SNES, one of the Kirby games, but it was just great. Mario Bros, of course, you got Mario. Um, it looks like we have three, which we'll get to. It's a, a spoiler. Uh, Mega Man 2 is on here. What was Mega Man 1 on? Was it on this too and they just excluded it? But, wow, these graphics of Mega Man are crazy. He doesn't even have like a cannon arm. He just had, he looks like a futuristic space cop, just like with a, a handgun shooting bad guys. That is interesting. <laughs> Why are they, that's weird. Like they couldn't get a picture of the cover art without this little like coupon. It says save up to $10 when you purchase Capcom games. But yeah, so we have a little, a little coupon on there, but isn't that weird? That one's the most bizarre to me, how they pictured it. He doesn't have the Mega Man iconic cannon, and it's just like a weird old sci-fi art style. I kind of love it, but it's kind of like bizarre at the same time to me. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, I didn't know that was on this. Or is it Gaiden? Wow, that looks intense. He's just burning down the whole city, I guess. But, uh... I kind of like when they have these like more realistic style of art on the covers of these. It's interesting to see how they've aged. Okay, so we did that, and I think I got so excited I skipped over Metroid. How could I do that? I like what's straight, because Ninja Gaiden was all bold. It was like all these like normal, normal uh, cased type things, type dealios. Your, uh, what you got, your Pascal or your Camel case. But then this one is just all caps. Ninja Gaiden. So we got Metroid. That's awesome. I love Metroid. Been playing those forever. Not pictured here somehow. How could they leave that off? How could they do that to Samus? But who knows? Uh, we'll keep going. Got Pac-Man, of course. I don't need to show you guys what Pac-Man is. And I think he's on the box somewhere, am I right? Well, I mean, I got that on there, but that's cheating. So not actually pictured on here. Uh, Punch-Out! Featuring Mr. Dream. Never actually played Punch-Out, but you know the... You've most likely seen the graphics from that at some point. If not, just like parodied. Parodied? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded weird. Uh, you've seen like a parody of it on... Who's done that? I think that College Humor's done a bunch of little things where they splice in different people and things in these old school games. But uh, that's just a boxing one right there. Uh, we got Star Tropics, and I don't know what that is. And I don't know what uh, these crabs are from, but they seem kind of tropical, right? So let's just pretend that that is where they're from. Super C. I also don't know what Super C is. Hmm. Okay. Sure. We got Super C. It sounds like, a, I don't know, like orange juice or something to me. Super Mario Bros. So we got, we got Mario Bros. We got Super Mario Bros. We got Super Mario Bros. 2, and then on top of that, 3. And he's in his, what is that? Tamiki suit or something? Some word. Some Japanese furry cat animal thing. I don't know what those look like. That's a real thing, right? That's like an animal. But yeah, that's cool. We got all those. Um, got Tecmo Bowl. Oh, Pac Pac-Man was on here. I'm just like ignoring like all these like little things. It's sensory overload. And by these 30 games on the back here. Um, so then we got The Legend of Zelda. So that's awesome. And we got Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. So The Adventures of Link is right there. But more importantly than that, we got him right here. 
All right. So cool. Now that we've tackled the box, what's inside of the physical thing, uh, let's get to opening. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Okay. So it's a retro blast from the past with 30 pre-installed classics from the 80s. And my one complaint with this, I really wish they gave you like two controllers, but I don't know how many of these are like multiplayer to begin with, so maybe it doesn't matter too much. Oh, what is this football one? If I had to guess, what would be the football one? Tecmo Bowl? That, that sounds maybe right, like Super Bowl. see how adorable this is. All right, our first glance, we're greeted with a little instruction manual or something. And of course they greet you with uh, a couple games that they did not include in this, which is Duck Hunt and Gyromite, which I haven't heard of. But I like that the instructions are here. They're just like, Plug it all in and, you know, you're good to go. What do we have when we fold this out? It looks like it's going to be some kind of weird giant poster for some reason. All right. Let's see. I'll let you guys get the first glimpse. You tell me. It looked like it might have been Duck Hunt or something. You tell me. Yep. Whoa, what is that guy? Maybe this will be the thumbnail, you know? Who knows? All right. So, now you're playing with power, though, you know? Uh, but yeah, the, this had, like, a ton of cool accessories. I remember going to, like, stores and seeing all these. They had, like, was it pictured somewhere else? I don't know where I was looking at it. But yeah, look, they have this, like, handgun thing for duck hunt. They had, like, full rifles that you would hold. They had steering wheels. They got whatever old robot this thing is. I don't even know. It looks pretty glorious. So that's cool. I like that they did that. It doesn't matter too much, but we got some entertainment out of it, right? And that is enough. Okay. So now we're getting into the goods. Oh, we got this little adorable controller. Let's take this out. stores and stuff but uh yeah it's pretty adorable what does this say can ices three i don't know what that means ices got your power cable we'll take this out nothing exciting set that over there is this the adorable little machine itself i thought it was I kind of thought at least it was going to take up like the entire box, but this is like even tinier than I was mentally prepared for. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. I guess this is the right way. What is that? Power? Oh, it clicks in. Just appreciate this little guy. Like I've seen pictures in its hand, but then I still. It's not the same as seeing this little adorable guy in action. This is cute. What would have been like even more amazing if it was just like slightly more expensive, but they actually gave you like the little cartridges like that big that you like, boop. That would have been cute. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Now, I guess it is multiplayer. Like they have the audacity to give you two slots here and then give you one controller. Isn't that nice of them to do and then charge the other one? Probably like 40 bucks or something, who knows. But yeah, that's pretty cute. It's the only word you can use to describe this one. It's that tiny. What do we got? What do we got in here? More cables. 
course we need more cables. What is, what is happening in here? I don't want to like destroy this, but it seems like destruction. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Crisis averted. Just for the sake of being fair, we're going to take these out as well and assemble a little guy here. Now you're gaming with tiny power. Okay, disconnect the cable and unplug power when not in use. Okay. I haven't seen that recommendation before. Usually game systems and everything are just like, let me eat your power. All the modern modern gaming ones are just like, let me stay connected to the internet, stealing your daters, stealing your power. It made an interesting noise when you stretch it out for the first time. Okay. So we're just going to get this plugged in. Sure. You don't want to go in this way? You're designed to go in this way. I'll right, we'll try the other one, even though it should be the same and universal. Maybe it's pissed. Okay. It just didn't want to be HDMI, you know? But it's fine. We worked through it. I told it it's going to happen, and then it was like, oh, okay. And then you got what? Your power adapter here? Your tiny little power adapter? I don't know if you, how much of this you guys can actually see, but I'll hold up this tangled mess for you in a second. And it's just going to use... Oh, could you actually power this? It's the power... That's pretty smart. They should have done this with, like, the... Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I just blanked out on words. Um, but yeah, it's nice that they give you the option to power on USB or or this. Or wall power. Um, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, let's unfurl this guy here. Huh. It's just curled weird like a little propeller at the end. I thought they used some kind of ancient forbidden technology on it, but nope, it's that's normal goods. What is this? Have you guys seen an adapter like that before? That's uh interesting. Looks like something straight out of Galaga. Use some propri proprietary Look at this guy. He's ready to go. Ready to go. All right. Well, that is that. Uh, yeah. Do I have any more? I think that is this. That is that for this unboxing. There we go. Um, thank you guys for watching. I think I'll do another episode um, where I try out some of these games. You guys can join in with me, kind of like I did for the new N64 games that I'd purchased. Um, I think that was a good time, so I think we'll do the same thing for this. So hopefully I can do that soon. Time's been a bit tight as of late, but uh, I'm getting back into things. And I hope you guys like this video and that one. Um, please leave a like or a comment. And I'm going to get into reviewing all those comments, 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 and uh, replying to those as well. Uh, it's been a bit crazy, but I do appreciate them. Um, I don't always have time to respond to them, but I, I, they pop up in places in my email or my on my phone as a message, and I like reading them, even if I don't get to them immediately. So thank you guys for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.